Hi, my name is Ryan Smout, and I'm a doctoral extern at the Towson University Counseling Center. As a grad student myself, I know how busy and stressful the end of the semester can get as final projects and exams become due. Taking breaks to think about what's really important in life can provide some needed rest and perspective during such difficult times. Today, I hope you can slow down for just a few minutes, here and now, to take a moment for some peace. To gain some perspective, we're going to read the Desiderata, a prose poem written in 1927 by American poet Max Ehrman. I've modified it slightly to make it more applicable to college students. For this exercise to be most effective, I encourage you to give this poem your full attention, cutting out other distractions for just a few minutes. Let your mind settle down. Ready? Here's the poem. Go placidly amid the noise and the haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly, and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own major and career path, however humble. They are real possessions in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your social affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love. For in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace. And whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. That's the poem. How do you feel now? Did taking a moment to think about the big picture help 